What's up, everybody? This is Michael Davis, aka Adrian Black, and I got I got something to get off my chat before the clusterfuck that is Extreme Worlds happening tonight. Excuse me, I just woke up like a couple hours ago, but this the uh, the, the, the entire concept of these gimmick pay reviews are really starting to piss me off. Really starting to irritate me because there are so many matches on, on the on the on the cards of these pay per views like TLC, Stream Wolves, Hell in a Cell, Money in the Bank, even the Stream Wolf is a limited chamber was that's not that's really not that bad. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind keeping that on on schedule. But the other pay reviews I, I wanna talk about, these given pay reviews are make make no sense. And they need to need they just need to get well. I mean, you tried fan four a, a, a years ago. Look look how that turned out. That ended up being the one of the worst concepts and worst worst pay reviews ever. But Extreme Wolves has to be the one has to be on that list as what at the worst concepts of giving pay reviews of all time at at this point at this weight because. The, like the last two or three eliminated chamber periods have not been very, very memorable when it comes to extreme moments. Moments, especially tonight, I don't I don't see anything happening that could be any like extreme. Like this whole extreme wolves match, they have the only extreme wolves match they have on the card is Barry Corbin and Larry Larry with the bar shoulders, aka Alicia Evans. Shout out to Adrian Brown for that. Versus Becky Lynch and Selma, as I like to call him, Becky's bitch. Cause that's what he is. He's Becky's bitch. Ever since he 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 started going out with her, with her he's been none of a bitch on TV and on Twitter. You don't believe me? Just ask Will Osprey. Just, just ask Will Osprey that about him being a bitch on Twitter. <laughs> that's the only match that gonna be a string wolves. You mean to tell me that Bobby Lashley and, and Barry Corbin? Barbara Lassie and Braun Strowman, that, 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 that can't be a string wolves. AJ Styles versus Wicked Stag. AJ Styles, uh, 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 Kofi Kingston versus Samoa Joe. But no, you gotta have freaking the, this pointless mixed, mixed tag team match as the only match is gonna be a string wolves. Instead of like a match like Moon Reigns and Undertaker versus Sam Man versus, and, uh, Drew McIntyre. That could be no host bar. As we know, for the past like year, uh, several years ago, several years or so, a no horse bar mass and a stream wolves mass are pr pretty much the same thing. I'm just saying. But you have Hell and Cell, the, the pointless like uh, giving pay reviews like Hell and Cell, that need that's gotta go, because they have like almost nearly 50 Hell and Cell matches in, in the entire history of WWE ever since this pay review. Of, Ever ever uh started. And some some hell and cell hell and some matches don't make sense, like especially the women's match women's hell and some match with Charlotte and, and Becky Lynch, no Charlotte and uh Sasha Banks, that's gonna be, that's probably gonna be the only the first and only time you see women in, inside hell and cell, cause they they just they, they just sit the bed on that, and that happens when some someone like Sasha Banks begs for these these opportunities. And you, you beg for these opportunities, but you can't seem to capitalize and do any any good in these uh, matches. What what the fuck? And people want to see you back in WWE, miss please. I mean, but last year's Hell in a Cell pay per view, Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton, Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns, those two were, were the two Hell in a Cell matches down on the card. I said you said it's a take off the, the Jeff Hardy and Randy, Randy Orton Hell in a Cell match, and Put in a freaking AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe, because at least that was more personal than the feud between Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton. The only reason why that that, that match was in Hell in Cell because Jeff Hardy was gonna do some stupid uh, stunt, stupid uh, uh, move in, inside Hell in Cell involving involving the cell. And as you saw at the pay view, it was stupid enough that he pretty much on there and there broke his face. And the whole money, money in the bank um, concept, 
We need we need to bring 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 back money in the bank at West Virginia. We need to take off money in the bank to pay per view and put the money in the bank matches back on WrestleMania. Cause we get excited, we we usually get excited to see money in the bank matches at WrestleMania. But now now there's just a pointless pay per view involving women women ladder matches that end up sitting in the bed too. Like like, like this year's uh, money in the bank match that happened um at, the, at this past uh, money in the bank uh, pay per view. It was just a complete system of uh, bosses all over the place. No pun intended because I'm watching Boston Mania right now. <laughs> but it was just a bo boss fest of that, that in that match. The only thing good at, good in that match was Ember Moon doing Ember Moon doing a uh, eclipse from one out ladder out from the outside into the ring on either Mandy Rose or Natalia. I don't know who who was on, but I, I don't care at this point. You know the men's money 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 to make match late, late that night. They have Finn Balor there and they were killing himself with the uh, with the spots he was doing on, on the ladders. And of course, yeah, Brock Lesnar Lesnar went in the money to make money to make match. Every Mark card on social media crying to their mommies and daddies and into their uh, ten year old ten year old uh, followers that Brock Lesnar won won the money to make match. I thought I thought it was funny as hell. <laughs> and the TLC matches, T TLC pay per views. What? When did? When did uh, TLC had a pin pinfall or submission stipulation? That's not TLC in my opinion. Why? Why? Well, well, look at TLC. I look at the match that happened at WrestleMania, WrestleMania 17. The self-proclaimed greatest WrestleMania of all time between the Hardy Boys, the Dudley Boys, as, as a question. That will want, that's still to this day one of the greatest uh, TLC matches of all time, and it makes me sick to my stomach seeing these matches TLC matches that have a pinfall, pinfall, pinfall or submission uh, stipulation to it instead of having something up for grabs, not like a, like a championship or a t contract, a big bat of money, or hell even I don't I don't care a freaking dildo I don't I don't care I mean have something up up for grabs. For, for a TLC match, if you gotta do that, don't have a pinfall and have don't have the match end in, in pinfall or submission. That's stupid. That's not TLC in my opinion. Seeing uh, Barry Corbin versus Braun Strowman TLC with a pinfall, pinfall, uh, pinfall submission that was stupid as hell. Um, the sealed or supposedly the sealed versus the bar Braun Strowman. Miss and Kane, that ended in pinfall, pinfall and submission. That that, that that was stupid too. I don't, I, would, I would give a damn that, that was in my hometown, Minnesota. I'm glad I didn't go, even though that was the same that was the same night that um eighty thousand Finn Balor happened. I'm glad I didn't go. And of course, Diablo versus Barry, Barry Corbin. I mean, Diablo versus Bray Wyatt in a TLC match. That was that was the first time they did uh, a TLC match that had pinfall or, or submission because uh, I think I think uh, uh, Brock Lesnar was, was the WWE champion during that time and didn't have any, any you know anything on the line or so they had they had to settle with um, pinfall or submission. Plus it was built, it was the match was built up uh, like the month a month earlier at, at Survivor Series. But you know these whole gimmick pay per views. I really started to start to irritate me to the point that I just don't care anymore. When a when a, uh, a string wheels uh, uh, get, get ready to happen, I'm like oh, I don't care. Hell on sell, uh, money money to make, TLC, I, I don't care. I mean string wheels, I mean eliminated chamber. That was that's that was, that's actually pretty good in my opinion. I mean I never I mean the the one of my favorite is, uh, eliminated chamber pay reviews was when Bray Wyatt won the championship. Uh, pen and eighty styles. That 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 same night to have a gauntlet match with um involved with the tag team, the SmackDown tag team champions, and that my that in my opinion that should have been uh inside inside uh inside a uh, eliminated chamber in my opinion. But if you want to call uh call uh the eliminated chamber hell and cell like like uh Marwin all did go right ahead, fucking idiot. I don't see why everybody everybody likes him Marwin all. He's fucking annoying. I'm sorry. Uh, but I would keep Eliminated Chamber if I was, you know, wanted the whole pay-per-view schedule. I would keep Eliminated Chamber because that's actually, you know, actually, you know, good. 
Cause if we don't, if we don't, if we don't know, eliminating the chamber was actually was actually no way out. So I will keep that in, on, on the schedule. But as far as you know, eliminating chamber, TLC, Money in the Bank, Hell in a Cell. No, we we gotta stop these. Am I the only one that needs that thinks that need need to stop these old gimmick previews? Let me know down down in the comments down below. I mean, I I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, if you want to you want to do like a like a, like an actual idea that actually makes sense, do the class class of champions have have all the champions from Raw and SmackDown go head to head, and just you know class that that's hence the name class of champions. See who's who which champion is better. Now don't do it as the virus series. Don't do it as the I mean, even though some of the matches they had for champion versus champion were actually decent. Ball Lesnar versus AS Dallas, Ball Lesnar versus uh Darren Darren Bryant, uh Nakamura and Becky Bitch was actually uh pretty good. Uh but you know, don't do it as the Survivor series. You might you better all doing those champion versus champion matches as Clyde Champions. And you got and we're not gonna hear this oh Oh, the one time a year that uh Wallace Manda go head to head. <laughs> no. If we do if we hear that tag tagline this year as a wire series, we all y'all know it's gonna be it's gonna be bullshit because we've been seeing Wallace Manta and superstars go head to head ever since this whole wire car world came came about. And guess what, Vince? You're not a fucking genius. This whole wire car world thing, stupid as fuck. Stupid. But I I I digress on that. Let me know down below. What's your opinion on these gimmick pay per views? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's a, they need to change things up? Do you think it's a bring back the whole old school name pay per views like Judgment Day, Backlash, Payback, No Way Out? You think it's a bring those back? Let me know down below. Let me know in the comment down below. Make sure you like this video, subscribe for more, tap the bell on the YouTube app if you miss any of my videos. And if you're watching the stream wars tonight, don't fall asleep. And I feel bad for you. <laughs> I think this is gonna be a three out three out of ten, four out of ten pay-per-view at best. If you wanna go watch uh evolve again, go watch Fight for Falling again, go watch the G one again, those those things are not gonna put you to sleep. Well maybe Fight for Falling because that, that was a long ass pay-per-view. But I digress on that, I digress. But let me know down below your opinion on these gimmick pay-per-views. And make sure make sure you check me out later this week, later later on Whenever I post post next because it's pretty much like a last minute thing, and I've been you know busy as all hell, so I apologize for have having been uploading for the past month or so. But hey, I'm back now, and hope you guys have had a great great weekend, and I'll catch you guys later. I'm back today with Adriel Black. I'm out.